Hello friends, it's been a while since I did any videos. I've been on a couple of hunts and dug a lot of trash. This being the the weirdest one, I think. I tried to polish this. Uh, I think it's a part of an old car. Maybe, as you can see, there's... Uh, well, I think it's a, I think it's aluminum and part of an old car. <laughs> I didn't expect to find this on a field. And of course, finally, I got myself a couple of buttons. This being a newer one. And I think this is somewhat older. Let's just see if I can zoom in on it. As you can see, it's a bit damaged, and uh, and uh, well, I'm in pretty bad shape, I think. But still, it's a button. I got. My first buttons. Then I went on a a club hunt, and I found some more exciting things. This is late Roman. Uh, this is about sixteen, seventeen hundred years old. This is uh, fibula. And uh, as you can see, there's uh, the pin is still attached to it. So, in a way, it's uh, complete. But as you can see, it has been uh, uh, bent. Some the pin should have been straight, and it should have gone in here uh, and this obviously you can see some of the uh, patina has uh, it's been close to a plow I think but if if the plow had uh, had uh, hit it it had been destroyed so that's the first uh, Great find. I don't know if it's plated or what. I don't. Or maybe it's just bronze. But it was fun. It's my first whole uh, fibula. This is a pearl. And of course, this isn't metal. That this was uh, lying on top of the ground and being yellow it's uh, somewhat easy to 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 locate locate some of the pearls uh, will be dark or some may even be black so there they're harder to find, but still I'm happy with this one. Now this is another little rarity. This is also late Roman, I think. Uh, in in time. Uh, also, maybe sixteen, seventeen hundred years old, maybe fourteen, fifteen. It's old, anyways. <laughs> uh, this, this is, um, this is a small uh, spoon, which they used to uh, clean their ears with. 
they would uh, stick it in their ear and scrape up some of the, the earwax. <laughs> and this is slightly damaged. Uh, I don't really know the English word for it. Uh, they use uh, today. We use them to uh, maybe the ladies use them to pluck their eyebrows. Uh, and in Danish, uh, it's a pincet, uh, and they're uh, a pair joined with this ring. And I think it's unusual to find the set. Uh, if you find anything, you'll probably find the the pincet. Uh, but so I'm quite quite happy for this one. Uh, being a a club hunt, I I found these things, and I'm uh, borrowing them. Of the club. Uh, these will go to the club and from the club to a uh, Danish museum. Uh, Danish law uh, says that such uh, finds like these should be uh, given to uh, museums. And that's really important for our uh, national heritage I think and obviously it's also a law but anyways this was a short video I think I'm going on a small hunt tomorrow and hopefully I'll uh, get some nice sceneries too I have said that the weather is going to be great tomorrow so, anyways, keep up the good work. I've seen some of your videos. Uh, and uh, it's Easter, and uh, maybe time for a few beers. So, uh, see you on the YouTube. Uh, Looking forward to new great detecting videos.